Hello, I'm Dr. John Liskey, Professor of Medicine and Director of the Mayo Clinic O'Brien Urology Research Center. About 10% of the people in the United States will experience kidney stones in their lifetime. These painful stones have many causes, and the best treatment often depends on the type and size of the stone. One of the unique things about Mayo Clinic is our broad team approach to preventing and treating kidney stones. This allows us to tailor our treatment to each patient's specific situation. I'm Dr. Terry Vertiska from the Department of Radiology. One of the first things we do is to use imaging to learn more about the size and type of stone. To do this, we often use dual energy computed tomography or CT to scan the abdomen as well as the kidneys. This technology isn't often available at other centers, but here it helps us learn more about the stone without having to remove it. And this information helps the physicians in nephrology and urology identify the best treatment. Treatment for symptomatic kidney stones can vary widely depending on the size and type of stone. You may need nothing more than take pain medication and drink lots of water to pass the stone. Other medications to dilate the ureter may help in some instances. In other instances, surgery may be needed. Several of us in urology specialize in removing both simple and complicated kidney stones. We do this as a large part of our practice, and with the latest technology, we can often do so with minimally invasive techniques performed using small incisions or natural openings. Together, we treat nearly 8,000 people with kidney stones every year at Mayo Clinic. This experience, combined with our ongoing research, has made us leaders in this area. Mayo Clinic has developed or refined many of the tools and techniques used to treat kidney stones. We're also continuing to look for new ways to improve the care for patients and the prevention of both common and rare types of stones. There are many improvements within CT imaging and three that apply directly to stone disease. First are improvements in dual energy CT to more accurately identify the specific type of stone. Secondly is more accurate quantification of the amount of stone disease or stone burden. Finally, and most importantly, are CT imaging advances to decrease the radiation dose, which is a commitment we have as radiologists to the patients we care for. In urology, we are able to provide an array of up-to-date surgical solutions for kidney stones, including non-invasive options such as shockwave lithotripsy and minimally invasive ureteroscopy through natural body openings without any need for incisions. For larger and more advanced kidney stones, we have over 30 years of experience with percutaneous nephrolithotomy, which removes even the largest stones through incisions approximately one inch in size. I'm also director of the Mayo Clinic Renal Testing Laboratory. Uh, this laboratory performs all of the specialized testing used to evaluate kidney stone patients in order to make appropriate treatment decisions. We have development technologists constantly working to bring new tests to the clinic for the evaluation of all types of kidney disease, including kidney stones. Mayo Clinic has active research teams in both the common and rare causes of kidney stones. They are working to increase understanding of the genetics and biology of stones in order to allow accurate diagnosis and to develop new treatments. This work includes several ongoing clinical trials to evaluate newer treatment strategies. In the clinic, our team approach uses nurses, dietitians, physicians to assure that all patients have an appropriate diagnosis and treatment for their disease. Sometimes this will involve diet and lifestyle. In other cases, medications may be prescribed. Together, we provide the medical expertise, research, and cutting-edge technology to provide each patient with the absolute best care.